Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this really cute teacher's tumbler design. Now, I got an email in my inbox a few weeks ago from one of my viewers asking me to recreate this cup right here in a tutorial. And usually I would probably say no, I really don't like to recreate other people's designs like exactly however i really loved the look of this tumbler i loved all the different elements to it so i actually reached out to the lady who designed this sublimation wrap and i asked her if she would be willing to sell all the different design elements on this tumbler separately so that we can use them in a full glitter tumbler tutorial and we would of course link her shop and everything like that so she so graciously said yes, she was so nice and I was so excited because I couldn't find any other images like this and I really wanted to make sure that she got all the credit for her super cute design. So here we are. Um, you can find all the links for the images and stuff down below in the description box. If you don't know how to access the description box, just click that little down facing arrow below this video if you're on a mobile device. If you're on your computer, you're gonna click show more beneath the video and that will expand the description box either below or to the side of the video where you'll find all the links and supply lists for this design. You're also gonna find all the links to my social media so you guys can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, we're all over the place, okay? And according to YouTube, 46% of you are not subscribed to my channel, but you watch my videos regularly. So it would really help us out if you could please subscribe to my channel so I can hit my goal of 100,000 subs. We are really, really close to getting there. So thank you guys so much. That's definitely enough chit chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so as usual, I'm starting with a fully prepped and sanded cup that I've already spray painted a matte white. My paint is fully dry and I've got 30 milliliters of mixed epoxy resin. This is Alumalite's amazing quick coat. So this is gonna be a fast setting epoxy. And I'm mixing in some glitter from Peachy Olive Glitters. This is Nookie, I will have it linked down below. And you wanna put just enough to cover the top of your medicine cup. So not too much, not too little, and we wanna mix until all the glitter is evenly distributed through that epoxy resin. Uh, this is a quick glitter technique. I love glittering white glittered cups like this because it's just so quick and easy, but it can be difficult to strike the right balance of glitter and epoxy. Some of you have said when you've done this, it looks streaky. And my guess is that it might have turned out that way because you didn't use enough resin. So this is 30 milliliters of epoxy for a 20 ounce skinny. Okay, and I wouldn't use any less than that. If you had a larger cup, obviously I would up the amount of epoxy, okay? I let that dry for about three hours before we were ready to move on to the next step. Remember, this is a fast setting epoxy, so your dry times may vary based on the brand and type of epoxy you're using. So while that's drying, I'm going to size and print my images. This is how... I got one of the images that she sent. So she had uh, sent me all the images individually and then one that came with everything in one image in and of itself, if that makes sense. And the one that comes with all the images together is already scaled appropriately. You're gonna see what I mean here in a minute. We're gonna size and print these in Google Docs. So I'm gonna go to file page setup. I'm gonna set all the margins to zero and then be sure to set your paper size to A4. We're gonna be printing these on water side and the water side paper that you're using is typically A4 size, all right? Then we're going to go to insert image file from my computer. I already have it loaded here, all right? Now, um, the only time I guess you would need the individual images is if you were going to make this a little bit differently than we are, or if you wanted to use it on a different size cup. But the one that has all of these already attached together will work really well for what we're doing. So you're gonna first right click on the image, then click on image options. Then we're gonna click the rotate icon. 
And then I'm going to resize the uh, width of the image to the same width around the bottom of my tumbler after I've glittered and epoxied. I also added a quarter inch to that to allow for like a seam allowance. So the total width around the bottom of my tumbler was nine and a half inches. I ended up making the width of this image nine and three quarter inches. So once you resize it, you should be good to go. Obviously your measurements will be different based on the size tumbler that you're using. Then we're going to go to image options in this print screen. I'm gonna make sure A4 paper size is selected there as well. Then we're gonna click on um, print using system dialog and I'm going to optimize my printer settings for photo printing. I print using the semi-gloss or luster paper option. You also have to make sure that here the A4 paper size is selected as well. Your printer options will look a little different based on the printer you have. So after I printed this, I sprayed it five times with Rust-Oleum clear gloss spray paint, letting each coat dry in between using a heater to kind of speed up that process. All right, and I would rather do five light coats than two to three heavy coats because when we get any pooling or dripping, that's when we run into trouble, uh, you know, at the ap application process, okay? I'm just gonna trim up all of the excess uh, around this um, bottom wrap here. Same for all the remaining images. Now, one thing I didn't go over earlier um, is I actually printed a little square of the leopard print. I basically just cropped that strip image into a little square, a three by three square, and that's what I'm gonna use to cover the bottom of my tumbler, okay? And I printed that separately. Um, I printed several <laughs> versions of this before I realized that what I explained to you guys in the last clip is really ideal. If you're doing this on a 20 ounce skinny, you don't re really need to resize this too much or resize the individual elements unless you really want to. But anyway, I've got some room temp water here, all right? And I've got my little silicone brush and I'm gonna hold this in the water until my water slide lifts easily from the paper backing, all right? I'm using Kodiak brand water slide. I will have it linked down below in the description box. We're just gonna get our surface wet here and then using my silicone brush, I'm gonna smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles. Water slide is going to retract or shrink as it dries. So if you try to dry off the surface or squeegee out all the water too fast while this is trying to shrink and dry a bit, that's when you're gonna get cracking. So this is a patient process. Um, you do kind of want to take your time brushing this out, go back to it, look and see if it's, you know, bubbled up again. That's why sometimes what you'll look at your water slide and it looks like there's no bubbles and then you come back and there's bubbles. That's because your water slide is shrinking. Okay. And as it shrinks, it's going to pull away and cause those bubbles in some spots. So you kind of have to stay on top of it until you're certain that that water slide has fully bonded to the surface of your cup, all right? And don't try to speed up drying this stuff. You wanna keep the surface of it a little bit moist as it's drying and bonding to the surface, all right? You'll notice that I'm just wrapping the excess of that water slide around the bottom rim of my cup. Also, you'll notice that I didn't do another layer of epoxy over that glitter and epoxy mixture before we moved on to this step because if we did the first step right, it should be smooth enough to go through with all of this. That's why I like doing that quick glitter method because it's one coat and done and I'm ready to move on to decals. All right, so I'm just gonna cut off the excess with my craft knife and then I'll move on to apply the uh, bottom leopard print part <laughs> where it's going to meet up. All right. And then for this bottom piece, I'm going to apply it exactly like we just applied the last piece. We're going to put it in some room temp water till it fully lifts from that paper backing. Then I'm going to line it up against the side of the cup as straight as I possibly can. The benefit of using water slide for stuff like this is we can move it around. Okay. We want to make sure our surface is a little bit moist before we move into this. 
And then very slowly but surely, I'm gonna use my silicone brush to smooth everything out, keeping that paper backing and my water slide in the water for as long as possible. And I'm doing my best to get the bottom of that section to roll over that bottom rim just so to where it'll meet up with the bottom square that I applied earlier. I'm using my silicone brush to smooth out the wrinkles along that bottom edge. And then I'm gonna trim off the excess with my scissors. And again, just kind of staying on top of it, taking my time, brushing out any bubbles or wrinkles as this starts to dry and form a bond to the surface of my cup. All right, and then I applied the rainbow and the pencil images exactly the same way, only they're a little bit easier because we're not having to wrap things around. All right, I just positioned them on my cup with a moist surface there and then held down one side while I removed the paper backing slowly from the other side and then measured with my ruler to make sure everything was nice and straight. Once I was sure that everything was straight, I started to smooth everything out with my silicone makeup brush. You'll notice in the scenes prior, I already had the rainbow and the pencil on there and they were different sizes. And that's because I thought it would be better to resize all these ind images individually rather than using the one image that already had everything kind of scaled and sized. Um, I realized that those were actually the better measurements, better to kind of have these elements larger than you think you should um, because they just add to the full design of the cup. She really did a nice job balancing this whole design, which I absolutely love. So um, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> when I had to pull off those uh, other water slide images that I placed earlier, it was a big pain. I ended up having to remove them um, by scraping them off with a razor, sanding the remainder off, cleaning up with acetone, uh, and then I had to bring back the shine of my tumbler with some clear gloss spray paint before I could try to um, reapply these images with the correct sizing, okay? So if that happens to you, <laughs> that's how you can fix it. It's not a big deal. It just added an hour of work to what should have been a pretty easy tumbler for me, okay? So anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Once we got all this water slide work done, I'm going to let this dry for about a half hour and then I'm going to move right into a coat of epoxy. I want to put a coat of epoxy on first before I add the name in vinyl and I know some of you might be asking yourself, why didn't you just type the name in and print the name with that pencil image, which would have been the smart thing to do. However, I didn't know who I was going to be giving this to at the time, and I didn't have time to wait and think about it, so I figured I would just do it later with vinyl, and that was actually easy for me anyway, so you can do that for works for you. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> after I got that layer of epoxy on, I let that layer dry for about 8 to 12 hours. I was just using regular amazing clear cast epoxy at this point. Um, I applied my decal. Uh, the t font that I used for this name is Sunray. It's one of my favorite fonts. I think it's so cute for this design. All right, and then I applied my final coat of epoxy. And for my final coat, I'm using Alumalite's Amazing Clear Cast Plus formula that has the enhanced UV protection in it. So it's going to keep this beautiful white cup from yellowing for a very long time. I've got a link for all the epoxies that I use down in my description box. There's a 10% off discount code for you to use there as well. All right, and this Clear Cast Plus does take longer to dry, okay? You're gonna look at a full 24 hours on the dry time for this, but that's, that's fine with me because I only use it on my last and final coat. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know that this is kind of a review for a lot of you because I do go over water slide application a lot on my channel, but I just thought this was design was so cute. Thank you to my viewer who emailed me to ask us to do this. I thought it was a fun project and a fun challenge for me to take on a sublimation design and translate it into a glitter tumbler. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. And if you like my 
my video, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. And a big thank you to all of our Flynn Sisters exclusive members. Thank you for your pledge. Your support means the world to our channel. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.